Hey, Paul T. the second with you again. This time, talking about what's going on in regards to Texas A&M potentially leaving for the SEC and the domino effect that's liable to create. What I think it all comes down to is everybody's trying to move one step closer naturally to the big money. And m figures they're going to make more with the SEC. They will make more with the SEC, especially considering how light things have been in terms of how they've been treated by their uh, rivals over in Austin. And I think that's what this has a lot to do with. Now, it could still get blocked in the Texas legislature. Wouldn't be the first time that had happened. Then again, you could see pressure on the Texas legislature put on Texas to go ahead and go with them. And I don't think the SEC would be turning that down in any way, shape, or form. Now, what this does, though, if A&M leaves, Texas stays, like most people would project, what happens from there? Naturally, the SEC starts looking for a 14th member. You can't have 13. You need 14. You don't want unbalanced divisions. Florida State's considered a prime candidate. Virginia Tech's considered a potential candidate. I'm sure they would love to pick up an Oklahoma or someone like that. Certainly wouldn't hurt the SEC in any way, shape, or form to stack the deck a little bit further. But what I think needs to happen is that these conferences and the NCAA need to go ahead and investigate true super conferences, getting things to 16 or 20 teams, and creating a second tier of interconference playoffs for each of these conferences. There's been a clamor for the BCS system to have a playoff. College football is the one sport without a championship playoff system. That is BCS level college football, of course, and actually lower levels of NCAA college football have been playing in a playoff format for years. But because of the way big time football is set up, because of the way the bowl system is entrenched for better or for worse, well, I think that building in a second tier of playoffs in each conference is a way to garner a compromise that I think everybody will be cool with. I mean, think about it. How hyped would it be to have two rounds of SEC playoffs? Plus, I think you can use this as a way for these schools to be able to make more potential money off of their non-conference games. For instance, in the SEC nowadays, you play eight non-conference games for, or I should say eight conference games for non-conference games. Now, if you went to a 16-team scenario in the SEC, and you were able to split into two divisions. You could play the teams in your division every year. Two teams in the division, I guess you could best say you would be aligned with. And one game each against the teams on the other side of the conference. That's seven conference games. That gives you a fifth non-conference cream puff to be able to schedule. And Alabama will tell you, yes, it's great having LSMU and Auburn and the ilk in town, but where they make the real money is when Troy comes in for a visit or McNeese State comes down for a game because they don't have to pay those cats nearly as much. And plus, I have a feeling that at games of that nature, your concession sales are going to be higher because, well, people are going to be less stressed. They're going to be more apt to want to get wander around and make impulse buys. And just my personal projection, while at a big-time game, a tense SEC caliber contest, people are going to be staying in their butts pretty much the entire contest. So, just my personal viewpoint on that matter. But I think that is where college football needs to be heading towards. Because the simple fact is a true 8, 12, 16, 24, or however many teams you would want to put in, a college football playoff, it's kind of untenable because of the way the college calendar falls. Because it would run in to the following semester. Now, I've heard that mentioned before, but the point doesn't come off very often. But it is truly the overriding reason this occurs in college football, plus yeah, the culture 
is for teams to end their season in a bowl game. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in, with the future of college football. But in terms of the immediate present, again, A&M, presume they go to the SEC. It'll start a domino effect. It'll be interesting to see what conferences head in which directions. So definitely a little something extra to what everyone's appetite before the kickoff proppers later on at the end of the month and start of the next month. Hey, thanks as always for tuning in. Check back in again soon. We'll be doing a lot more of these. Late.